masking is to neurodiversity as hanging on to the edge of a cliff with your fingertips is to mountain climbing. Because it looks like you're hanging on and when you walk into a psychiatrist or a psychologist's office and you're presenting as though you're hanging on, to them that can look as though you're managing well and you're coping. And professionals who can't spot the difference may think you aren't struggling. And it's important for you as the adult to be able to explain that you are masking, what you would be doing if you weren't masking, what behaviors would you allow to come through, what would you be doing instead, and also share what is it costing you to mask versus being yourself. Does it cost you exhaustion? Is it leading to anxiety or depression? This is the stuff the professional needs to hear. Otherwise, they see you hanging onto the edge of the cliff by your fingertips, and they think you're coping. They'll look down at you and say, but look at how good you're doing. You're telling me things are so difficult, but look at how good you're doing. You just need to try a little harder. Just pull yourself up. Imagine yourself pulling yourself up by your fingertips and getting to the top of it. You know what I mean. No, Doc, this is what I need. I need strategies. I need better tools. I need a rope for crying out loud. I need shoes with spikes that I can dig into the side of this cliff, this cliff rather, and pull myself up. Willpower isn't enough. And encouragement and attaboys isn't going to move me forward. Masking is a survival tool. It's not a thriving tool. Skills, strategies, are for thriving. Hanging out to the edge of a cliff may make it look like I'm in a good position to climb the rest of that mountain, but all it really means is that I'm hanging out above my fingertips and I'm about ready to fall. I may be coping in that moment, but who knows how long it's gonna last. I could really use more help. So give me what I need instead of just counting on me to look like I have it already.